I think nowadays the best way uh, to read to improve your English is to utilize the new graded readers that have come out in the last five to six years. With the advancement of technology, you don't just have to focus on improving your vocabulary through reading by using a graded reader, for example, that will expose you to different levels of words as you go up from, let's say, beginner, upper intermediate to advanced. But they also will either have an audio CD or even some like the National Geographic will have a DVD in support. So first you'll read the story, do the exercises and expose yourself to some new vocabulary. And then you can reinforce that by, by listening to that vocabulary or watching that story and reinforcing it in a different way. So I think right now reading a graded reader is a good start, but also extending that by using the audio or the DVDs that come with them to further enhance that, that uh, knowledge in your long-term memory. Well, I think there's two ways of looking at this. Firstly, you could look at it in terms of books that are specifically structured and graded for the learner. So, for example, um, grammar books, uh, reference books, uh, readers which, have, um, which are staged at different levels of vocabulary, and they have their place. On the other hand, I would suggest that what is perhaps more powerful is just reading more broadly reading different types of texts and nowadays with the internet that's so much easier you don't have to go and get a pile of books you can uh, go online uh, identify um, topics that you're interested in and then perhaps read different types of texts about these this is very much dependent on what you like to read because there's no Point reading or being directed to say crime novelists if you're not interested in crime. Interest, it's the key um, every time when it comes to reading. If you want to become more interested or if you want to read more, um, you have to be interested in what you're reading. Mm -hmm.